This video demonstrates how to move a CFC from one cyclic OB to another by moving its runtime group. The temperature controller TICA315 shown here in reactor R310 is being triggered by OB33, which is a 500 millisecond scan time. For this example, we'll need to move TICA315 from OB33 to OB34, which is a 200 millisecond scan time. Opening the CFC for TICA315, you can see from the green rectangle of any block's header that this chart is being executed in cyclic OB33 at 500 milliseconds. Double-clicking the header will open the runtime editor and select the block you've just double-clicked. To move the CFC TICA315 to cyclic OB34, we'll left-click the runtime group TICA315 and drag it down to cyclic OB34. Expand Runtime Group TICA315 and notice that all the blocks came along with it. Close the Runtime Editor, but don't close the whole CFC editor. Notice that the blocks in the TICA315 CFC are now in OB34, which is a 200 millisecond scan time. When moving charts to different organization blocks, there are a couple of concerns you need to be aware of. One concern is if you have chart-to-chart -chart connections. In this example, the MV underscore high act output that indicates when the manipulated variable output is being restricted to a high limit is connected to a counter block in another chart to keep track of how many times it has hit that limit. The concern here is the PID controller block that the alarm signal is coming from is executed every 200 milliseconds, and the counter block receiving the alarm signal is scanning slower at 500 milliseconds. If the signal coming from the control block lasts less than 500 milliseconds, the counter block might not see it. In this case, we would need to modify the program to guarantee that the signal lasts at least 500 milliseconds in order for the counter to pick it up or move the counter function into a 200 millisecond scan time. Another concern you need to be aware of is the process input partitions for I.O. modules. In this example, when we move the TICA315 chart to the 200 millisecond OB34, any field connections to symbolic I.O. addressing are still being updated based on the signal module's original configuration. From the Address tab of the Signal Module Properties, we can see that the inputs and outputs are assigned to PIP3. To determine what a scan time PIP3 is at, we need to open the CPU Properties. Select the Cyclic Interrupt tab and locate PIP3. Since PIP3 is assigned to OB33, the I.O. will only be updated every 500 milliseconds. Notice that the OB34 at 200 milliseconds that we moved the CFC TICA315 to has PIP4 assigned to it. Caution! Make sure you cancel out of the CPU properties or you might be required to do a download and stop. Open the Signal Module Properties again. Select the Address tab. And notice we can now click the down arrow of each process image entry. Select PIP4. and repeat this procedure if there is more than one entry. Click OK to accept the changes. Remember to compile, save and download these changes. 
the field I.O. on this example, will now be updated at 200 milliseconds along with CFC TICA 315.